Good morning. It's another beautiful day. It happens to be the Thursday. That is the first Thursday of the month of uh, April 2022. We are live from Kampala Serena Conference Center. I'm Andrew Chamagero Muntuawansi. And today in Uganda First, I want you to be a part of this conversation on Twitter. The hashtag is Uganda First. And we want to thank our great sponsors. That is uh, the National Secretariat for Patriotism, COPS Uganda. Not forgetting the boy child conversation. Please, the parents on the ground and wherever you are. And the guardians, let's engage the boy child as much as we're engaging the girl child. And that said, are you patriotic enough? Show me the love on Twitter and beyond with the hashtag Uganda First. Today we're talking about wealth creation and mindset change. And with me in studio, I have a Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, a former director of mindset change at the Operation Wealth Creation and currently the spokesperson uh, of, of, of the UPDF. Every time we see anything coming up with the UPDF, I saw a couple of you on Twitter making a lot of comments when he came up about what is happening in the Karamoja region. But nonetheless, he's here and we're going to have this conversation. Follow us on Twitter, YouTube and Facebook. We are live. Good morning, Afandi. Good morning, Andrew. Good to see you. Thank you. It has been a tough week. It is. Um, but when they, they go and get stuff, we get tougher. Get tough. <laughs> it, it, it is a very sad moment. Um, to those that are in Amoro district, we want to send our heartfelt sympathy and to the family of the late um, uh, Jacob Olanya. Yeah. And um, given that you interacted with him, just of um, what was so unique about his mindset that you actually tapped it and you liked it? I think uh, at any one time, mm. at all the time I saw. Right on the mm. she was positive. Nice. Very charming. Mm. You interacted with him, you did not want to stop. Oh, yeah. Three, mm. he's a man devoid, he was a man devoid of intrigue. Uh -huh. Pettiness was not mm. anywhere near Olanya. Trivial issues. Not at all. Wow. Four, mm. the man was a nationalist. He loved his country. He, not in, loving the country is patriotism. Mm. But being a nationalist is that you are thinking... At a national level. At a national level and beyond. And mm. Olanya was that level. Mm. And that's why for me, yesterday I declared forgive, forgiveness for oh. those who tribalized his death. Oh, yeah, true. I, I forgave them. Oh, it was a bad conversation. It, 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 it was uh, quite an unfortunate conversation mm. and, uh, from leaders at that level. Yeah. Uh, that's not what we expect. Mm. But also, knowing who... Jacob Olanya was, there is no way mm. you would bring in the issue of Acholi or Lang on mm. him. Uh, look even the way he married. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Yeah. Uh, and then, <coughs> where are those around him? Mm. Uh, I don't know whether the, the, his biographer has completed his book, mm. um, but he sent them to me. Wow. As one of his best friends. Wow. Very humbling indeed. That's a big humbling statement. It is. Yeah, the, and he told me, look, he has told us, we should look you up and say what you know about him. That was a big... A it big it was. Mm. And then, of course, um, the quality of debate when mm. he would be in the seat. Was unique. Oh, you don't, you, don't, you don't come up with it. <laughs> <laughs> this pedestrian yeah, that, that conversation. This pedestrian conversation. Yeah. We are dealing with matters of national importance and then yeah. you are reporting five hearts got burnt in my village. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch, watch. Uh, and they would say, oh, no, no, how, how is that a matter of national importance? Mm. You know? Mm. Or when you rise and say, it's a point of procedure, when you begin talking, say, which procedure point is that? <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. Or which rule of procedure are you actually raising? Uh, raising. Mm. raising. So he guided the debate in parliament mm. with that level. And he had promised yeah, he to improve the quality. Mm. And I'm sure the Everest Parliament is going to miss him. Mm. Uh, the other aspect about Olanya, he never kept grudge. Yeah. We, 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 we rubbed, could clash we, egos, we clashed, but... We mm. clashed sometime in mm. the 90s, mm. <laughs> politically though. Yes. And uh, I never knew he had known. <laughs> <laughs> That some of the things he was talking about, I was involved in yes. the, in killing those efforts he was making. Yes. But you see, that's me. Uh, mm. I'm patriotic. If I, what you're doing, I think, is uh, going to undermine the country. Yeah, or undermine the leadership, on. I will take you on. Mm. So, two years ago, mm. he was launching Teresita in Mbuya. Mm. And he said, the courage here. <laughs> 
<laughs> he reminded you. <laughs> but there was Walanya. Oh yeah. He made fun of it. Mm. He gave, and then his eloquence. Yeah. Oh boy, Chamagiru. He was eloquent. She are joking. Eh? And for me, if I can admit yes. that you are superb, that then, means, then that you, means are. Good. Then yeah. you are. She's in order to excuse mm. who are very, very unique. Wow. I gave a speech in Jerusalem. Mm. You could think he's a Jew. Wow. Eh? He had done his research. We were in the, in the Knesset. Mm. He gave a speech and he was, he was given a standing ovation. Wow. That was Olanya. That was Olanya. Yes. <laughs> May he so rest in eternal peace. Amen. Afandi Klaija, today we are talking about wealth creation and mindset change. The time you are the head of the mindset uh, docket at the Operation Wealth Creation, yes. we see a lot of these conversations coming through. Mm. I, for one, as a journalist, I've, I am known for, you know, uncomfortable conversations for mm. my generation. I feel we're so entitled. We feel we must be given. We feel like you take everything to be so casual, mm. if I should say. And as such, I keep drumming that we need to wake up as a generation. Correct. And um, those who can understand it can actually see what is on the horizon. But there are those who are a little bit on the pedestal. They're like, I mean, nothing is going to change. And as such, we are a poor generation. Mm. My generation, you people are okay. But ours, it is hand to mouth. You think we are okay? I think you're okay because your mindset was, was actually aligned. Uh... You, you, you know your history. You know why we are here and actually you respect as it is. Yes. Now, for my generation, I, I, I come from the school of thought that um, um, we think we're entitled. True. We, we, we must. True. We must. We must. You have a sense of entitlement. Yes. Uh. And, and as such, we have failed to create creation of wealth. Mm -hmm. Because our mindsets are not in tandem with the, 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 the skills or the models of creating wealth. Mm. Where do we go from here, Fadi? First of all, do you understand why you are where you are? Yeah. Do you? Me, I do. I know my purpose. Do, you, do your colleagues? No, I'm saying as, as a, a generation, generation. That's the problem. Do you know why you have this challenge? If I, I'm, I'm avoiding the word problem. Mm. But that's <laughs> a problem. Yes. First of all, this sense of entitlement, where does it come, where does it come from? It comes from um, our parents. Both uh, yes and no. Mm. Uh, the parents have contributed in as far as they have not done what they are supposed to do. Mm -hmm to nurture you yeah. into the man you should be. Mm -hmm. um, you see, I normally have to, g I, I go back to the background of the fact that we are a generation of the Amin era. Mm. Okay? Saba Saba. Mm. Uh, no, before even Saba Saba. Mm. I, you know, a young person, a, young, a child, mm. thinks the strongest man in the world is his father. That's true. Now we witnessed our father as being made to cry. You're broken. And you're hardened. And uh, no, we lost respect mm. for our fathers. Mm. This man who's been terrorizing me mm. in the house, <laughs> now he has gotten somebody who is taming him. <laughs> oh, yes. Eh? The Waganda says, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm So, as a child, you would get excited mm. seeing your father also saying, Mama Nyabo, Mama Nyabo. Mm. But what impact did it have on society? A huge one. It eroded. Um, it already did the hierarchy mm. society had mm. of elders mm. having a say in the lives of young ones. Yeah. Uh, in the fact that the young must respect the elders mm. because elders are expected to be source of wisdom, they are expected yeah. to be a guiding society. Yeah. But here you are, the elders were turned into children mm. by state agents. Mm. That's one aspect. Two, how did we survive? The parents, mm. especially the men, abandoned the form of employment, those who could, mm. abandoned the farming, those who could, mm. and went to smuggling. Magendo. Magendo. Mm. So that was the means of survival. Mm. Three, even those in the public service, mm. those that were genuine public servants, lost respect because they remained poor. Oh, yeah. While those who are doing uh, deals mm. were prospering. So deals was the next frontier. So deals were the next frontier. Mm. And that's why nobody looks at um, genuine income earning. They look at uh, shortcuts. Deal. Deal. <laughs> yeah. um, 
therefore, mm. therefore mm. it also undermined the service delivery. Mm. Because mm. The, the one who paid received the service. If you didn't mm. pay, no service for you. So the ecosystem is all disrupted. And therefore, that's why you see, you now have uh, urban areas mm. that are slums in nature. That's true. Namuongo. <laughs> Namuongo, mm. go to Muyenga. Mm. Why are you stopping in Namuongo? Go to Muyenga. <laughs> yeah. The first urban area after mm. 86, the yeah. uh, first extension of Kampala was Muyenga. Mm. What do you see there? Jesus. I have failed to understand how people can have a road the size of this phone going to their homes. I know. And it's, it's Meaning two cars can't p bypass each other. Yes, true. But what happened? The mindset. We all knew mm. you have to live two meters to the road. To the road, yes. That's how I, I was brought up to knowing. Mm. Here are educated people <laughs> living one foot. I find it, there is being educated and being learned. I know. Mm. I use the word educated delivery today <laughs> because uh, I expect us to have gone not only through education, mm. but socialization. And understand. To understand the right thing mm. from the wrong one. Mm. You, somebody builds up to the road, it, uh, you know, lives mm. only one foot. And the to other the perimeter also, wall. <coughs> excuse me, to the perimeter wall. And therefore, if there are two cars coming, they, they, can't, can't. they can't meet each other. Mm. So are we okay in our heads? Maybe it all starts from you in power, the people in power. That's Maybe. what I came to, you see, mm. where are we coming from? Who are we? Mm. As a country. As a country. Mm. As society. Mm. There are things what we are calling do's and don'ts. Mm. And the unwritten laws in and society. The uh, laws mm. in society. Mm. And the guardians of these laws were the elders. Mm. By virtue of your name, I think you are from Central Region. Very much so. Where I was brought up, mm. we had a book called Mvubuka Gonjusi. Yeah, we even had it here. Uh -huh. Yes. What happened? When 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 Wumatete was still our MP in the Kawa Division. Hey. Yes. What happened to that book? Wow. Which gave you the do's and don'ts as a young man. And the values to hold. The values to hold dear. Hmm. Talking of values. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. What is it that a Ugandan would be ready to die for? Today? Yes. There is none. Family. I could die for my family or family. I could die for my family. Ooh, should be given a medal in Kololo. <laughs> I could die for my family. As given. long as it's going to give them a better life, yes. I would go for that. So would I. Mm. But give, uh, that, I, that's how you deserve a medal. Mm. How many are ready? To to because that's the first different answer I've received. Yeah. I've asked this same question mm. in many places, including parliament. Mm. Nobody could give you the values to die for. Because Until sorry. recently, I've gotten, uh, I've gotten an answer, mm. and so far, four DSs have given the same answer. Mm. Money. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Cash pesa. Yes. So, so in other words, mm. we are mercenaries. Yeah. We are porters. Mm. Abapakasi. The mindset, you have a pakas. You have a pakas. Doesn't matter the level of education, doesn't matter how many degrees. Many of us in this country, our mindset, you have a pakas. We are greedy then. It's not only about greed, it's mm. about value system. Mm. What do you pre where do you place your value more? Where do you p what do you hold dear? Mm. How much money would you make you chama get happy? None. Exactly. Then you say, mm. I'm a doctor, I'm not going to do to work. Mm. Until they increase my pay. <laughs> what happened to the Hippocratic Oath? Maybe the Hippocratic Oath is there and it's standard. But money is an enabler that is needed to enable the Thank you to very much. Mm. Money is an enabler. Yes. It's not everything. Mm. Okay? Yeah. And therefore, how much money is enough, enough to enable you to do your work as a medical doctor, None. as a teacher? None. It's a calling. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, that also died in the education system. I was starting from the village, from mm -hmm. the home. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go to the schooling system as well. Mm -hmm. So, the society in the home mm -hmm. is normal. Oh, yeah. Because we went into smuggling. Mm -hmm. When the smuggling ended, we are now here looking for the shortest cut, mm -hmm. deal. Mm -hmm. Even when we are at work, a paper, a paper will disappear mm. or not be seen until you put a stone to it. Mm. We used to hear those about the police <laughs> when they investigate the case. Now it is, has gone to public offices yeah. everywhere. Mm. 
you want to look for people who are better than the others. Do you find them in procurement, even finance department? Yeah. Why? Logistics. Logistics. Hmm. Why? They determine who supplies what. And therefore, you join the military, for example, mm. and your father wants you to join. Mm. If he has an influence, he wants you to be in finance or logistics or procurement. Because he knows. Because you know that's where the money is. The money is. Mm. I had a case of a gentleman asking me mm. to ensure that his son was deployed in finance. Really? Yes. That's so shallow. Not only shallow, it was shameless. Disgusting. <laughs> you, you are calling a colonel of the army. I was a colonel then. Yes. To ensure that your son is deployed in it. I asked him, sir, mm. who do you think ensured I was deployed wherever he was? It was merit. It was merit. Mm. And God is grace. Two, who put you wherever you have gone? He said, no one. So I said, yeah. allow your son to grow. <laughs> Go anywhere. Allow your son to grow. Succeed. Let him grow mm. to become a man. You should be a man, mm. which I want to talk about later, mm. is the uh, ability to deal with the challenges of the day that Every come your way. Mm. Every day. Mm. So this manhood is brought about in the home. Mm. One, by the things we do, we as fathers. Yeah. Because children learn more from seeing than listening. That's true. Uh, so how you behave as a father is what she picks. I have a son who would always, uh, whenever I would return, he would pick my you know my folder yeah. and, and hold it the way I hold it, yeah. and he would tell the siblings, mm. "Say, we'll come back, daddy." <laughs> because that's what he says. Yeah. That's what he was saying. Mm. Then, too, the other notion I told you about thinking is powerful. When the mother punished him, he would say, I will put you dead and he beats you. Yeah. So, when they told me, I called him, I said, Have you ever seen me Beating beat mommy? Mm. He said, No. So, where did you get it from? Yeah. And of course, he was uh, embarrassed and looked down. Mm. But he believed that daddy is so powerful that he, he, can, he, can, he can take charge. He yes. can take charge. Yes. Now, that has also a reflection. Uh, How do the children perceive their parents? On society. And therefore, society. Do they feel mm. they can be protected by their parents? Mm. Do they think their parents care or not? Mm. We have substituted care with the money. Those of us who have so, the um, money. We, we are never present at home, but we replace uh, with presents. With presents. Uh, so, there is no inclusion. Socialization has died. How do we revamp this up? And you see, knowing that it has died and bringing it back to uh, to life is another thing. And we are here for this conversation that we can revamp this kind of energy back. You see, the, the, the best way to do it, mm. first and foremost, is to challenge ourselves mm. to what we want the country to be. Mm. What do we want Uganda to appear or to be in 10, 15, 20 years from today? A beautiful country, everyone who is proud of it. When my father was uh, looking after me, mm. he wanted me to be better than him. Yeah, that's true. And by all standards, I am better than him. Mm. Not only in education, but in yeah. perception, exposure, mm. and also the things of life that I own. Yeah. He didn't have them. But he wanted me to be better than him. Mm. Two, he taught me four major things. <coughs> mm -hmm. One, Love people. Yeah. Love people. People. Mm. Two, be a man of integrity. We lack that in this generation. Never, actually, the word was never do anything that will put down your name. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 in the local language, it's better put. Mm. In the West, they say, oh, but mm. That was value number. Number one. Today, <laughs> we actually we muka every day. <laughs> because we have no values. We have no values. Mm. Then he said three. Mm. What had he said three? Mm. He said, love work. Because mm. without work, you, you can't eat. Mm. Finally, mm. he said, love God. Mm. Now, those three things have made me what I am today. The four pillars have kept you going. Yes. Mm. I have loved people until they have unloved me. Yeah. <laughs> Unconditionally. <laughs> Unconditionally. The asset was inclusive. Now, mm. um, I met a friend. He's uh, now manager um, Victoria Motors, Rwanda. Mm. 
he grew up in the hands of the late Professor Saint Zakajibi. Oh yeah, he was a tough man. Very, very tough. <laughs> and he told him one wange. Kusibizi bintu bisatu. I'm giving you three a package of three things mm. as your life was um, mm. dry ration, if I may use the word. Yeah. He said one, I want to baby. People are bad. That was a real thing. Mm. Are bad. Mm. And in my experience of loving people, I you discovered that they are bad. Because you are told to love them. Because I was told to love them. Yes, regardless of they should come. And I was so disappointed when I discovered that I had taken wrong, a wrong path. Mm. When I discovered even God knows it. <laughs> Felix. In the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 17, uh, verse 5, uh -huh. he says, Cast is one who trusts the son of man. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't want to misquote him. <laughs> uh, you, you have an, a Bible app there. On all my phones, I do. Oh, that's yes. Cool. My desktop, yes. Mm. iPad, yes. You know when you grow older, Fandi, Felix, there is a way you become closer to God. I don't know whether it's, it's a sense of unawareness. You start to, to see things from a different perspective. You start to understand things. Uh, from why, a why, why do you think the Uganda so look at the magazine? <laughs> They, they, they are just enlightened. That they are enlightened stage. by experience and mm. exposure. Mm. And indeed, as you grow older, you begin to see the power of God. To the difference lens. You begin to see the power of God. Mm. Things you used to take for granted, you realize they are not just ordinary. Oh, yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. You realize there is a supernatural being behind them. Mm. Whereas previously, as a young person, because of your because of your strength, yeah. you take everything for granted. If it, that the entitlement comes in. Then the entitlement. No, mm. you know things can happen at your own touch them mm. and they happen. Yeah. But as you grow old, you realize it is not only your strength. It's God that does. Somebody must will it. Mm. Somebody must will will it. Mm. If he doesn't, however much energy you put in. But of course, when you are young, you have all the energy, you can spend it, and you regain it from the food <laughs> you eat. And as a young man, I keep on telling young men, if yeah. you are below <coughs> 35, mm. and you don't eat two kilograms of food, mm. something's wrong with you. Hey. Yes. Gava Mukulia. It's fun, I don't I, I, I can't do two kilograms per day? Yes. Oh, I don't do that. And then uh, some, <laughs> it means you're not spending enough energy. Ah. Yes. But like me who would start my day at 6 in the morning, mm. end it at 7 in the evening. Mm. Oh yeah, boy, even that one was not enough. I ended more than 3,000 kilocalories <laughs> in my day. <laughs> I find that with that, while you're looking for the, uh, for the quote from the Bible. I'm there. Mm. Chapter 17, mm. <laughs> the verse 5. Mm. And, um, oh, sorry. You went in a different book? No, 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 no. I, I, um, I went to well. Jeremiah 17, great. Mm. Verse 5, he says, mm. Thus says the Lord, cast, mm. and the Amplified Version says, with great evil, mm. is the strong man who trusts in and relies on frail man, mm. making weak fle uh, human flesh mm. his arm, and whose mind and heart turn aside from the Lord. Now, that one is a bit mild. Mm. Verse 9. Mm -hmm. Same chapter. Mm. The heart is deceitful above all things. The heart? The heart is deceitful above all so things. So that keeps, it keeps revering. And it is exceedingly pers perverse mm. and corrupt. And severely mortally sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's the says the Lord. We can't trust the heart. No. And this is in addition to number five. Oh, yeah. Now, in ten, he, uh, he, then he goes on to ask a question, actually. He says, who can know mm. or be acquainted with his own heart and mm. mind? Then he answers in ten. He says, I, the Lord, mm. search the mind. I try the heart, mm -hmm. even to give to every man according to his ways. Mm -hmm. The thieves you hear, mm. according to his ways. And the fruit of his doings. So it has to come back. It comes back to what you have done. And now this brings me to another conversation. I yes. Wealth creation. Mm. Our generation 
the ones who are lucky, they have been in position to create wealth. The ones who are still in shambles. When you go on the ground, things are tough. Mm. They're trying to save, but um, we are not like in the army because in the army it, it's 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 a command. You must save. Mm -hmm. The other day I was with you and you said it's an, it's, it's not discussable. But on this other land, even the little they save, at times it does not come through so well. Yeah. And as such, the mindset for wealth creation is a little bit far from here to Timbuktu and back. <laughs> <laughs> How do we bridge that? Don't be unfair to yourself. Timbuktu is no longer <laughs> more. It's no more. The, the jihadists destroyed it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <clears throat> you see, again, back to mindset. Hmm. What makes, what is wealth? Is it material things? No. Wealth, to me, wealth is impacting society and you're living a good life. Yes. Mm. Again, good life is relative. Mm. Is good life driving Mercedes-Benz? No. Is it living in a castle? No. What is good life? As long as I can afford the basics of life with my family. Voila. There we are together. Mm. For me, mm. there we are, we are together. Mm. Now, what is it that a young man in Uganda needs? A good life. A young man needs an environment where they can invest and money can come through. For starters, mm. a young man needs the right mindset, mm. the right thinking. Okay. We don't have the right thinking. No. And to have the right thinking, I'm going to ask these questions. Mm. What are you? I'm a Ugandan. So that's what you think? Yeah. Okay. Who are you? That calls for my purpose. Three. Mm. Do you know where you're coming from? That calls for my history. If I made, if right. I comprehend it. Do you know where you are? The now. Yes. The now triggers my why. Now, next question. Mm. Do you know where you want to go? To the future. Yes. Do you okay. know where you want to go? I know where I want to go. <laughs> because mm. if you don't answer the, these other questions, then you can't fail to You are groping direction. in the dark. When you don't answer these questions, you are groping in the dark. Mm. To appreciate who you are, to appreciate what you are, the two questions will give you your purpose in life. And then you get the direction. And then you get the direction. Direction is what you want to be. Mm. What do you want to see yourself 10, 15 years from today? And you work towards it. And you work towards it. Mm -hmm. I was beaten by a soldier at the age of 14. Mm. And I promise God, I'll put on that uniform at the age of 14. And here you are. And here I am. So it's about determining what is your history, where are you, and where do you want to go? We don't have that today. Number one. Number two, mm -hmm. <coughs> what do you need to get where you want to go? An enabling environment and mindset. Are you going to drive a car? Are you going to use a donkey? Are you going to walk on foot or you, a border border? You need a clarity on the mindset. You need to determine mm. how you get where you're going. Mm. Five, which is part B in number two. Mm. Who do you need mm. to move with? The allies. The starting point mm. is the the beginner and the finisher of things. Good. Right there. Let's take a break for now. <laughs> it's still a Ugandan first time here with our, our Brigadier General Felix uh, Kulaija. The conversation is a little bit, you know, very exciting. I think about Uganda first. As a Ugandan, ask these questions on that end. Do you know where you come from, where you are now, and what the future looks for you? And on the other side, what is your why? Is your mindset in the right direction? If it's not, after this break, drop me a WhatsApp or a text. The WhatsApp number is actually on the screen. The hashtag on Twitter is Uganda First. I'll pick your feedback a little later. But for now, let's take a break. And when we return, we're going to have a clip and we see what the patriotism groups and the cops are doing on the ground. Good morning. Patriotism, 
Echamazimati tuwali tuwecha enyo rembele ya liye kolachi Ya liye liwa mwagwanga Mkubira nga wata nisotuza wata nisotuza wata nisotuza mpola mpola If you all decide to use your, to use your positions but importantly your knowledge Putting yourselves, your morals high above any bribe, above any, any sort of corruption we can cause a good change. Mbeja jituwala wa kolachi. Kuwela honga na yutoge na chesi gali zanga kwe. Waino chiteka muno mula. Ni waba honga waluwe chiri honga chikuwa tagana kweze nsonga. Ni honga amuna yuwalu program wechi newechi. Nesi manye we kolachi. Kwezi wana honga waluwe program wechi newechi. Newa inzo kuwa kuchiba kolachi. Agena mainza ina mwechi. Haka ngeende wa nizo kolachi. Na hivu chimuga manga yene. Nesi mila naga matika ngeende. At least manda manga Train up the child in the way he or she should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it from that right way. But these children will help to influence and lead to the to the positive change of their parents by doing this. A teacher will be building humanism in humans. Kubanga singo banga guweta dekate rinye bi. Erinye rio diso bolo kugobeli yanga gola banga guwa kozechi. Nga gola banga kale guwa laba mwisele visi nga nchobe langa superstar mwa vubu kabano. Nenga ate erinye rio liba likono nedegwe ngo mtu. Dero kusingi la dala. Chava vubu katu andibade evisele ya febi singa vio na vio na. Andibade tuviza mkola ni wakubade nito inzo kubagwe. Ola mantina uvulambu wa guwayo. Na hati teli mbela iza kubela ulu velela. Just to go ina kuteka mmanyi. Ulawe chicho na chuna na uvofunya katononga ukajema kuhu matufu. Kekabe iraka kuhu. I have two degrees, six degrees, I have no job. What is the problem? The problem that we are thinking that when you come up as a teacher, your only survival is a standard. That is wrong. We should build our country all around that there is nothing wrong or there is no law in this country that when you are a teacher of history and economics, you cannot be a farmer. It's not there. But because your mind has been put to the fix, thinking that for you only to develop, there must be that attachment. <laughs> No kubera wa munga tuwe te, te, kutula kutula mu Kukuhuli liza anga viva tugamba ako Si kubera mbintu ya geto kubera anga Tugendo kwe karaka asabi ntuwe vitio Nga viva tusomesa anga watu gata mugena anga kwe karaka asabi Tumukula anga kwe muti simanya Temuku baba ntuma inja wa polisi simanya temukwe vitio kari Abatu gambo kubira haba kozi kabe fugabi Kukute chigira kufechi kwa haba teka Uindubwe bito kari Teka la kasa Kukufa kubida gala dagala Biko zisa Well, Uganda first, it's the conversation we are having this week. My name is Andrew Chamagiromun to RNC. Uh, my friends on Twitter, I really want to thank you so, so much for the conversation. Fred Modali, I see you. Erimia Milton, I see you. A very great morning. Um, just so you know, this is a Brigadier General, not a Brigadier Colonel, it's a Brigadier General. <laughs> and uh, that is just for clarity. Mutana, I see you. These, these trips are very serious. Kasuja Faizo Alu. I see you, Saume Kutwala, and the other. Someone says a very good morning, Andrew. Thank you so much for the conversation. I think I'm learning more from this conversation about the mindset to trigger the wealth creation. A couple of messages came through from WhatsApp. Let me just read a few of them before we go back in the messaging. Someone says, Afande, thanks a lot for the message. James Ekweku Soroti. Ekweku. This is a former teacher of literature. He told one of our, a retired teacher, you told one of our colleagues here, but geez, well done. <laughs> uh, let's have another message. One says, good morning, thanks for the show. I thank Afande for constructive ideas. I also thank 
thank him for his good behavior in public, unlike other people who have guns. I've, I've never seen you with a gun, Felix. Every time we meet. <laughs> when my gun comes out, hey. a dead body, uh, there must be a dead body. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. One last message. <laughs> Let me read just one last message from the WhatsApp. Someone says, um, Good morning. I'm Irene. Thanks for the beautiful show. Educative words from Brigadier Felix. Thanks. Watching from Mukono, Wantoni area. Before we went for the break, we're looking There's at. Oh. So, good morning, Chama Granda Fande. Afande needs to see the current Uganda in a broader perspective. In their NRA youthful days, they looked at government then to be taking a very wrong direction due to the widespread corruption uncounted for wealth by those who are in authority, human rights violations, and other atrocities. Currently, we see Mercedes Benz with the number plates of the Ministry of Defense, UG with the D, right? Um, the so-called historicals, Kaders and Abaziruanako are grabbing land everywhere and seem to be untouchable by the same people preaching mindset change. Is it worth a discussion to preach mindset change, yet a small portion continues to suck our motherland? We, the youth, are seeing only what I found the first uh, college so in 1981. Engineer Ahereza Johnson Ezra is his name. No, I'm afraid that Engineer Ahereza mm. has a problem of mindset. He has a problem of mindset. To him, mm. anybody in government mm. is a is, thief. Is a thief. Because maybe I've seen it on his, no. in, his, in his area. No, the thieves are his brothers, are his uncles. The ones he can see. The ones he can see. I can proudly say on yeah. camera, I have yeah. never stolen government money. I'm saying it and let anybody challenge me. I am able to walk with my head high in these streets of this city mm. because I know my record is clear. He's saying that it's so a for him group to speak like that mm. of historicals. Of historicals and actually referring to me is yeah. not, not only being unfair to me, mm. but it's an insult. I have kept my integrity. Generalizing. Generalizing. Again, mindset problem. Oh. What I saw in 81 is not what you seeing today. What I saw in 81, there were dead bodies along this street. This street here, mm. there were dead bodies. Today they are Every day bodies. you mm. would see them. If you mm. didn't see a dead body, that would, be a that would be a miracle. That's what I saw in 81. Mm. What I saw in 81, I would be beaten by just simply passing where soldiers are. For no reason. Today, Jeno is in the studio here at NTV, and there is there life, is no guy. life is continuing normally. Mm. So, Ahereza, mm. please liberate your mind. The mindset. It's about, by mm. the way, mm. the starting point is mm. you. As an individual. As an individual. Nobody else mm. will make you change your mind. Don't you think, Afande, the government in power and um, the leadership in power, they have not taken it so serious to inculcate the patriotism values from the word go. When we were young, let me tell you a story, Fande. Mm. <clears throat> when we were young, shortly after the war, they would come to our home and they would knock in Ntinda, they on stretcher. Mm. They would knock, how many are you in there? My dad would give the number. Mention the names, my mother, my siblings and me. And would walk out and they would search the house. Mm -hmm. In case they find any military fatigue, they would take the father. Mm. And there were muchaka muchaka courses. Right. around the entire areas. Mm. I remember our representative in the Constitution Assembly. Uh, Constituent Assembly. Uh, yeah, Constituent Assembly. Mm. They, they would tell us that, please take the, 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 the boys need to go from Chaka Mchaka for discipline and all. That gave <laughs> us a direction as, as young ones. Correct. Today, mm. these kind of courses are no longer there. Mm. The scouts and the, and, uh, the, scouts and the pathfinders and uh, all those, there were models within the school sectors that would give us discipline and direction. They don't seem to be amplified anymore. Don't you think the likes of Muheres are possibly they have a right to look at it that way that maybe no, they, they, they do. The, the leadership has not been inclusive so much about it. They, they do, but what I'm, I was appealing to Muheres and his type, mm. when you open your mind, mm. you are able to see beyond what you imagine was the problem. You think it's just imagining? I, 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 would, I can assure you, because <laughs> when he says yes. uh, the liberators are done grabbers, mm. it's not correct. But I found we have run stories where the military men are in the land struggle. They are deployed by you, who are, who are well to do. Oh, the rich. The rich. They're not very rich. The Mercedes Benz is talking about. Mm. 
It's about those who have had access to opportunities through connections. Diru, Modo. Diru. Today you want you have an investor who wants to put money in this country, mm. and somebody says before you talk fifty thousand dollars on the table, thirty percent. Who's but fifty thousand dollars from what? Could this man is bringing his money mm. to your country mm. to create value to and create jobs. value and jobs. Mm. And you, with your stupid cuckoo head, mm. you are demanding him to pay for first of all to talk to you with your ugly face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm disgusted. <laughs> I'm know. disgusted. Mm. Because you see, what Muhereza is telling you mm. is a perception which has been created by a few individuals. That we are behaving, going to behaving as if the country and the mm. world is ending with them. Mm. Forgetting there are people who were in those very offices 40 years ago. They are no more. That's true. Yesterday, yesterday we were asking in Kololo, mm. what do you want to be remembered for? That's a big one. Yes. A couple of them could not answer that. They can't. Because they are looking here. Mm. He thinks, that's why I asked you at the beginning. Mm. Is driving Mercedes Benz the comfortable life? Is it wealth? It's not. Is it wealth? It's not. It's not. Mm. Wealth is the lives you have touched. And impacted positively. The lives you have mm. impacted positively. Mm. That's, that's wealth. Which you call social capital. Yeah. But for me it's not about social capital. Mm. No. It's about fulfilling your purpose on earth. As an individual. As an individual. The only sense of God giving us five fingers mm. was to teach us wisdom. He mm. could have, in his wisdom, he could have given us one finger mm. per hand. Mm. Why put five and different lengths? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> it just shows you we are not equal, but we need each other. Mm. So, uh, to pursue my line that I was, mm. I was uh, following before we went for break, mm. Once you establish what you are, mm. you establish where you want to go, mm. you identify the means to get there. Okay. That's why I talked about As like Pajaji, Boda mm. Boda, or, mm. or, a, or a, um, a donkey. Mm. Then whom are you going to go with? The allies. The allies. This journey. The, the resources mm. uh, in terms of human capital. Mm. And then you, then you get back to yourself. What do I have? What's my role here? My call to action. I hear you. That's when you go, you say, I want to marry you go for the meeting and say, oh, you know what? <laughs> but today, <laughs> you are shameless the young man and say, I want to marry and I have nothing. Mumbere <laughs> de ah, You want to marry, you have no source of income, uh. but you want to take somebody's daughter, not mine. Uh. Mm -mm. Because a man <coughs> must, is, a, a, must a, be in position to provide. Does it being a man in putting on a tie like you? No. Is it having a beard? No, 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 no. Is it having a deep voice? No. Being a man means you are able to lead. Offer leadership. To lead yourself, mm -hmm. first of all. Yes. To lead somebody's daughter mm -hmm. as a wife. Mm. To lead the family God has given you. Then you're a man. Then you're a man. I find that brings me to all this. The conversation of packages <laughs> from the different layers in schools and the universities. Do you have some positives of mindset change? Have you seen, as someone who was heading the, the, the mindset change at the um, Operation Wealth Creation, have you seen some positives from these conversations you have had on the Absolutely. It, it's evident mm. a seed has been planted. Nice. Uh, two, you mentioned about the Mchaka Mchaka course. Mchaka Mchaka course. You know they helped us. They guided us. They yeah, gave us discipline, you know, time, for me, for me, physical fitness. You touched the wound. Are you for real? Yes. Uh -huh. I am one of the people who then mm. were in school advocated for students to go for Mchaka Mchaka before they enter universities. I did. I had my courses. And uh, the whole essence was that we had tried to take those after university. And they were rigid. That is wrong. When somebody enters university, he, he thinks he is on top of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so and he cannot subscribe to anything more. He's not eager <coughs> to learn. Yeah. But the person who has finished A level, you are just beginning to scratch knowledge. Yeah. So and, you, and you're craving. So you're craving for more. Mm -hmm. That, however, mm. has been killed also 
with our education system. Someone is asking here, uh, good morning, Chamagir, what happened to patriotism lectures that were started years ago? We used to have this way back when we were still in high school, Lukwano Jose. We are answering the question. Mm -hmm. we, that's the question we're answering now. Mm. So what happened? By 1994, mm. if you, you, you realize those who came for CA, mm. the conversations had begun to, had begun to change. Mm -hmm. People were no longer looking at uh, their tribes, the it was a nation. It mm. was a nation. Mm. Uh, political parties were not the issue. Yeah. So they are saying political parties have misled us. <laughs> and at that time, we had the religious leaders going. Mm. The late Bishop Nkoyo was one of the first bishops to go for Mchaka Mchaka. Yeah. Nuns went. Mm. Now, I'm told in Masaka, there was even a case where people didn't go for, for mass. <laughs> they went for Mchaka Mchaka <laughs> instead of the Sunday. <laughs> oh, boy. That created chaos. But... <laughs> Political <coughs> leaders at the time mm. who opposed the NRM government mm. began the campaign in Mchaka Mchaka. Because today they say it's more like militarizing the population. Even these kids are teaching patriotism. Mm. On Twitter the other day I saw someone <laughs> saying this is militarizing the population, especially the youth, indoctrination. That's the word they're using. And I'm afraid they're talking out of ignorance. Mm. Indoctrination means somebody will feed you on something without allowing you to think otherwise. It's a forceful feeding. It's for forceful feeding. Mm -hmm. By the way, the biggest society that indoctrinates is the United States of America. That's true. <laughs> From kindergarten, yes. a child is given a certain message up to high school. And they can't get off. No, 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 you can't. That's why the most uninformed this population is the American population. That one I know. <laughs> so, they're, 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 but, they're not but, informed. But we admire them. Mm. So in my view, mm. uh, so they, they campaigned it, both mm. local and internationally. Mm. Some of them were even ministers in cabinet, in government. They didn't know. No, they knew what they were doing. They, for them, they were looking at their political, shadow political oh. interests. So they felt like their political capital was getting So in 96, mm. <coughs> World Bank and the donors mm. said Mchaka Mchaka must close. Or else we are not giving you budget support anymore. And we were just limping then. We oh, were just limping economically. Mm. If you talk to General Masco today, he will tell you there was a course going on in the Jankwans. It was stopped midway. Hey. These guys you think are your friends? They are not. The Americans. Because Mujaka Mujaka was opening our eyes. To the reality. That's what ended it. Mm. So we tried to circumvent it by introducing political education in schools. Yeah, I studied political education right. and civics. Now when the president said Useless subjects should be stopped. Mm. First victim, political education. <laughs> <laughs> then he said, <laughs> they are better off in the dark. Now, my, to those who are saying we are militarizing, mm. uh, indoctrinating, the mm. or indoctrinating, mm. they need to know that we are the only country, we and the DRC, mm. plus uh, South Sudan, mm. that don't have national service. The rest of our neighbors they have it. Have a national service. Mm. And national service, there is immediate training. Oh yeah, it's a must have. Go to Kenya here, Gil Gil. Mm. It's a must have. It's a must. Mm. Go to Tanzania. JKT. Ah, you have to. Yes. But you see, you sit here in your cocoon, small sitting room, <laughs> which you think is very big, and you begin imagining things. <laughs> but maybe it's that what, what we see in society. I remember when we proposed indeed the training to uh, school children, mm. some woman told, said on radio, I don't want to militarize my child. Yes. Militarize. Mm. Article 17 of the Constitution says every able Ugandan must be able to defend this country. How will you defend it when you have not been trained? You have to first be trained. Today, mm. South Korea. And that one I know. Yeah, which, yeah. which was our, at our level <coughs> in 1965. They left us Why? so far. Why did they leave us? Because they ch their mindset, their motto is this. When, when I was there, this is what I got to know. I'm glad you are there. That um, no one goes to a university level before they go through Amchaka Amchaka kind of model here. It's a national service. Yes. And by the time you meet them when they're done with the university, they have their country fast at their heart. Thank you very much. Why do you want to copy the wrong things? And even the good ones. But do you talk to the we, powers we, we, that we, we be that are wearing chains, hmm? putting on the yeah. you, you people who meet the powers that be in this country, mm. how best can we take more of these conversations up to the level? You see, the, the how best is this way? Now we are at it. We are taking it down. Go back to schools. Mm. Converse. 
Mm. Converse with the religious leaders. Converse with the local leaders. Mm. Converse among the youth. Youth groups. Mm. Today when youth come together, what are they coming to do? To discuss Arsenal and Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> don't go and ask you that's for everyone there. No, I, I, I know, I, I know. don't want to cause violence on Twitter. No, the, the, peace, the peace we have in, in this town today is because of us and losing the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to all those that have been part of this conversation. And I want to thank um, the sponsor, that is the National Secretariat for Patriotism, COPS Uganda. I really want to thank you so, so much. Um, the Secretariat comes from the Office of the Presidency. We want to thank the leadership of this country for giving us this kind of uh, atmosphere to actually have these conversations on Twitter here a couple of you have sent in your messages um, okay uh, it's pretty much it's it's pretty much the same <laughs> it's pretty much the same but I want to I thank you be, be, before we wind up a funding yes. what could be your parting shots to the youth today when it gets to mindset change and wealth creation because these go hand in hand you see first and foremost you must appreciate you are all in society. Mm -hmm. That I am a man, yes, so what? I'm a girl, mm. so what? Mm -hmm. What are expectations of me? Mm. Before you start your own expectations. Yeah. Because what does society expect from What does society expect from me? Mm. What, is ex what am I supposed to do to be useful in society? Supposed to, to. is the key word. Yes. Mm. Now, and that is not going to be facilitated by anybody else. It's me. The reason why God gave you, you see, look at it, God is design mm. of human nature. Everything is the devil except yeah. two things. Mm. Entry and, and exit. exit. That's true. The rest is double. What does it show you? Everything get more and more, eat less. Oh yeah. Because if you eat more, the exit will be clogged. Oh yeah. No could be in PE. Ah. <laughs> Program Uganda first. Uh, that is uh, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, former Director of Mindset Change and Operation Wealth Creation. And of course, you as a Ugandan, the call is up to you. Are you going to eat so much that you're going to clog the outlet? Or <laughs> you're going to make sure that you look for useful information? Are you going to change your mindset? Let's look at the bigger picture at a national level. As Ugandans, it's our call to change our societies from where we are. Be the person to stand up tall and say, wrong is wrong and right is right. I'm Andrew Chamagiramuntua once and this program is powered by the National Secretariat for Patriotism, COPS, uh, Uganda, that comes from the Office of the Presidents of this country. And not only that, we want to thank the entire team that goes on ground and trains and um, nurtures and tutes the youth who are believing in the patriotism of this country. I'm Andrew... Hmm? I'm one of the trainers. You're one of the trainers. Yeah. See you on the ground. <laughs> Have a lovely afternoon and please take this conversation far beyond here to your locals in your community. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm.